What's up all? And welcome back to another last play of Changed. Possibly, maybe, I'm not sure, it's the finale. I want to say this is a warning, uh, I want to say it as a warning in advance. This game is a furry transformation game. It also contains some uh, questionable images. If you're not into it, I highly suggest not watching this video. Anyway, in the last episode, Burrow and... Uh, Burrow and the main character went on like a sort of adventure and actually made it through some easy things actually all considered. It's written in an unfamiliar language. Oh. Photo shows a group of people boarding a military truck, everyone looks dead serious. Who are they? That should be the people that are either uh, are maybe being carriers or the elites. Eh? They, they spread to the ground floor. It looks like we'll still have to deal with the white latex. Not only that, but I can also smell my own species down here. Dark latexes. I really don't want to have to face both white latex and my own can kind. Take a careful lo look around first. It's really dangerous. You said, well, in a kind of like a sort of bonus video, and we shouldn't be nosing around a lot. Oh wow, okay. Well, it instantly hinders you a lot. It's probably one of those boxes. Oh, you do actually move a little bit faster when sprinting. Never knew that. Nothing indirectable. What about the sort of TV screen right there? Nothing. That ain't that a bummer. I'll follow you, please move quickly, and if you have any trouble, please ask me for help. Peru is visibly trembling. Yeah, okay, he's pretty much saying the same thing. But he meant ask for help, you'll see. You wanna keep Peru close to you because he froze you! Literally! That was close. That was too close. I had no other choice at that time, so I just tossed you over. It's good that you su successfully escaped. He completely ignored me and headed straight for you, so sorry. Are you okay? Really? Now I'll throw you when we're surrounded again. That's an easy way. Watch your step. Okay, that's the same. This is a little bit different. You wanna make sure? No! <laughs> oh, whoa. You also see Burrow crying, which is really sad. Um, but that's basically the same uh, what we have to do. But I kind of got careless a little bit because I kind of want to keep on moving. Uh, I'll just make sure to do this again. Oops. Two times in a row. Right around here. Yep. Oh! I kind of blame Burrow for that one. Okay. Case him or note it. Don't go towards the bottom path. Oh, that's just two deaths already. Just go up here and you'll be fine. I have to talk to Burrow again though. So what you want to do is just keep Pearl close to you and you'll be fine. What? Ah, Jesus Christ. I, I had trouble with this one because I did not know how to figure it out uh, until I actually just talked to Pearl. I thought you had to outrun them. <sighs> Alright. Again, keep Pearl close. Wait a little bit, bro, and then just straight right. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's the same. Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, that's the same. You do want to keep on walking, though. 
Oh, okay, now he runs. Ooh, way too close. Way too... <laughs> Uh, yeah, we're nearing nearing the end. I must admit that you're really heavy. Wow, this looks like the territory of my kind. I really don't want to face others of my own species. They are uncivilized and won't be too friendly with me either. I may not be able to communi communicate with them. But I can feel that we're close to the, to the exit. Let's just hurry through, uh, though. Just a couple more rooms. Don't look at me, I'm different from them. They can speak at all. I better think of how to cross this area. I'll try and stop them if necessary. Oh, blue. My favorite color. Oh, whoa. That looks pretty cute. But they never actually mentioned them in the game or something. I kind of wish they would. Let's see this. Oh, okay, it's pretty much the same. Those red crystals, little crystals. Okay. Probably a box. Looks like a box was here. Same goes with this. Ugh. Ugh. I forgot about this one. Holy shit. Um. Wait a minute. Did I kind of mess it up? I think I have to go down here. Okay, right. It, you know, the kind of sliding puzzle. I don't think I have to go down. If I go down, I'll be transferred, right? I kind of have to align some things, though. I don't think I'll be going. If I go down, I won't be transferred, right? Nope, not at all. And go up. Uh, go right, which will be transferred to the left. Okay, okay, I'll be going down. I'll be going to the left. Down, left, I think, because that's the only option I have right now. There we go. Uh, I think then down, right. Down, that's the only option. And right. I hope. I hope. Thank you. Look at Pearl. He's cheating. This place is different from where I come from. All the crystals here are red. Or probably isn't too different otherwise. It seems like nobody sh nobody's here. Maybe that's good news? But please don't run into these crystals or else you'll be transferred. Why are you staring at me like that? What? Slippery? Really? Don't humans have padding on their feet? N n none? I had no idea. It seems I haven't learned enough about humans after all. Let's, let's move forwards. Oh. What's this stuff on the ground? Curious, I've never seen it before. And there's no one here either. Where is everybody? Alright, oh, human. Alright, oh, human doesn't have pads. That makes sense that you said the ground was hard to walk on. Oh, I know what's coming up and it's really flipping cute. But if you slide here, these grounds will turn into crystals, which prevents you from moving. You kind of have to plan ahead, and it's also kind of trial and error based. If I go towards the right, I'll be instantly transferred, so I kind of have to go... Uh, do I have to? I think this is the only way. Like, the other way, is, there's nothing. Okay, so right here. They'll be turned into crystals, and it prevents you from moving forward or anywhere else. I'm gonna go to the bottom. They don't transfer you because they're tiny crystals. If the if you touch the larger one, you'll be transferred. Don't go to the right. If you go to the right. okay. All right, I have to go up. Go to the right, and you can actually use them as stopping points, which is pretty neat. 
Tango just left because that's the only option. Tango shorts the Tango just down. And right. Oh, uh, this is pretty, pretty much gonna be cute. It's also gonna be a little bit of a luck here because I can't go down here. I'll be transferred instantly, and even here I won't be. I'll be transferred because I'll be sliding into the crystals. I'll be also sliding into that. So the only thing I can do is go here. What's about this though? Not fine. So let's go here. We're stuck. You discover that you're trapped. Okay, that's taking a long while. I'm coming to help! I was thinking of letting you pass on your own, but it looks like it's too difficult to do. Padless feet are so unreliable, human. Let me help you out. Please don't move. You're so heavy, human. And this is what I actually mean, it's cute. That's it. Don't move. Let me carry you to the exit. I saw you were very concentrated, slipping and skidding over there, so I didn't bother you. Fortunately, because this is the territory of my kind, I can still be useful. Are you tired, human? It's not, it's not safe to rest here. Let's go. Yep. Where are the others? Why are the only crystals here? Did they go outside? They're luckily they're lucky to be born so close to the outside world. Never mind, have you noticed the floor human? These little crystalline spines, they pop out up shortly after you step on them. They're extremely sensitive. Be careful, human. Don't fail now. You don't ex expect me to carry you all the way, do you? It's been so long, but we've re finally reached the end. I couldn't have been able to make it w uh, without you. <sighs> He's always such a good boy. But I'm actually surprised that we're actually nearing the ending. I thought it would take way longer. But Fur said they do pop out like really quick, so you kind of have to rush here. Ah! So that actually does look cool, I have to say. Like the figure of, or like the transformation. Yeah. I'm actually nearing the ending. This is kind of like a rest moment so you can actually look further ahead. And there's gonna be some moments that may... Well, maybe I will be transferred more, I don't know. Oh! Emperor's crying. I really like, okay, that's a detail I do like. Man, if Peru is near you and you get transferred, he's actually crying. Like, I know that's a little bit weird for me to say. Like, it's a nice detail, but it just shows how much he cares about you. Yeah, I'm actually kind of rushing through them because I don't know if I'll be able to talk and rush at the same time. Okay, last stretch. And we've made it. Don't step down because that's a sneaky one. Yeah, we made it. And it's also thundering outside, holy shit. You're incredible! Human is totally different from back when you were, were pursued by the till. You've really grown. Your face looks pale. Are you exhausted? You've done so much. Let's go. Problem's out. Yep, he mentioned about the pill, or pill, pill look on the face. I start shaking. I'm so excited. Oh, that's pretty cute. Human. Thank you. Thank you for your persistence. Thank you for your efforts. Without you, I wouldn't have had the courage to be here. I really, really appreciate it. I'm ready for the future. You can rest later. 
Our research is our last hope. To sacrifice is to progress. We will succeed in the end. Line of bullet holes. Yep. That was because of the riot. Again, Perro mentioned about the pill look on our face. That's pretty much the virus spreading through. We are here. The hole of the ground floor. I have dreamed, dreamt about the outside countless times before. I can walk out of the building on my own paths. But my heart is tranquil as water. I'm confused. Am I dreaming? I should be happy. There's a great chance for both of us. A change, sorry, great, great change for both of us. I'll leave this little world and go explore, explore a fresh, boundless world. And you, human, you successfully kept your human body, but you're going to have to survive out there too. However, I'll be with you, even outside. I'll follow you forever. Forget about the end of the world. I have you and you have me. Is not that the best con consolation in such a situation? You won't be alone. I have countless things I want to tell you. I've talked to you a lot tonight, but I've never talked to anyone before. Human, it's hard to believe that all this happened overnight. Tonight, I found a friend. Bought by bad guys, raced with white latex, and got to the exit of the building with a human who's coming with me. This has been far more incredible than any books I've read. We've finally reached our goal. Let's go, human. Let's go see the rising sun. It should be early morning outside already. Let's get moving. Are you ready? Eh? You gave me such a headache. It's still painful. So, you're leaving, correct? Is it too late to con reconsider? Of course, I couldn't physically stop you if I wanted to. Of course you can stop us. Now there's two of us. You can stop us from leaving. We're not going to give up now. The door is right behind us. We can leave at any time. I won't stop you. Honestly, I simply need to talk to you. Will you listen? I don't know what you're trying to do, but you better not try and trick us again. Hey, nameless human. I still insist on what I said to you. If you leave now, you may catastrophize the entire world. What would you do if I'm right? What did you say? How could a human bring catastrophe? He just wants to escape from the building. We got through so many hardships to be here. You can't just stop us with just by talking. We don't believe you. Felt simple. We remember the original purpose to create you and your species. You were created to stop the disease. Yes. Pearl or the black latex creatures were felt samples and they only were designed to actually stop the disease by actually transferring people into a black latex. And this human is a potential carrier. He's planning life. I don't believe you. You just want to intimidate him so that he won't go out. A man with such serious illness wouldn't have such strong will. I have no reason to lie to you. I have no ulterior motives. I already fell before. Neither I nor all my colleagues could save the world. Because of the riot. Research facilities were destroyed. Samples escaped. Treatment plans were ruined. Everything. Only I survived. It really is thundering. Holy shit. Because I still had a purpose. I'm no longer human. But I have been testing and observing the virus. All these years committed to restoring the planet. All on the hope that the next wave of humanity can survive. 
so the world has a chance to be rebuilt. Only at that time I could feel relieved. But you, you're a threat to humanity, an unexpected variable. I don't know why I never checked these caps, never, never checked those capsules. Have you thought about what's going, what's out there? They are only ruins and dilapidated relics of society. I'm sorry if I said that wrong, by the way. Society, groups, family, friends, normal life, all of these are a distant memory. There's nothing left. It would be very difficult for a regular human to survive. You may be rather fast, but that doesn't mean that your chances to live are high in this uninhabited wilderness. You will likely die. He won't, because I'm here. Really? I wasn't aware just how strong your friendship was. My only impressions of you came from the security footage I had seen. However, how could a human and a monster live together, despite your different biology? The relationship between you two is predator and prey. Moreover, a latex won't live long without a host. What would the human do after your death? He would still be alone. His, still, his fate still uh, would not change. What he meant with that, if Pearl doesn't have a host or didn't take a, over a host, he has a shorter lifespan, meaning he dies faster than a human. Or than a human that actually is not uh, infected. Burrow? It doesn't matter. When I was born, I was the same as WrestleMania, mindlessly searching for hosts without end. That was my one goal in life. But fate, fate has turned me into the way I am now. I gained, I gained intelligence, learned how to communicate, and discovered my own purpose. I don't need a host now. Double A's? Okay. Not anymore. All I need is someone who can accompany me, talk to me, live with me. I don't care whatever it's a short lived or not. I I'll have lived a happy life. I've worked so hard for so long just on the hope for of a better future. If you end up carrying the virus out, what would I do? You and the human. I've overheard you describe him as excellent quite a few times. You remind me of myself. I've decided to be an excellent human too. You must have re you must have greatly wanted to assimilate this human. It's instinctual for you after all. However, you disobeyed these urges. You chose to befriend him. You've managed to overcome and abandon your natural instincts, even if it means certain death. And I, I just want to live to see the world restored. Soon, the humans in the shelter will be able to walk on the earth again. I'll go and contact the elites then. I'll provide all the data I've collected from the service for all these years and supply resources and supply resources and energy stored in this building. Humanity will, gain, will regain their hope. All this will be true for too long. But then you showed up. Even though it's just a possibility, every possibility could induce a fatal outcome. You could spread out the virus, the plan would be terminated, and I have to wait for another who knows how many years. How long would I be kept waiting this time? Maybe I wouldn't ever be able to see the day come. I've worked so hard implementing and implementing everything I possibly could, but I still couldn't save anything in the end. And you? The nameless human. What would you do if you escaped outside? A fragile human like you could be easily killed. Comparatively, staying here might not be a better fate, transferred or not. You'll most likely die outside. Your dark latex friend won't make much of a difference. Humans are naturally weak creatures. You'll regret your decision to leave this building. 
Humans are social animals. Fighting without partners or talent is likely to result in death. So your fate is still doomed, regardless of your choice. We, everyone, all of us, have changed nothing at all. We've struggled so hard, everyone has sacrificed, but in the end, it doesn't even matter. <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't, I couldn't resist the joke. Nothing has changed. I beg of you, you'll only need to make one more little sacrifice, and everyone will be safe. Please, please. There's still hope. You can't determine whether this human is carrying the virus, correct? You just said, maybe. I'm willing to take that chance. What an optimistic latex. You don't think I hope the same thing. But it's the human's decision. You. What do you think? Humanity's fate depends on you. Make your choice. Stay here or leave. Human, I won't force you. Choose what you want most. Follow your heart. For we will always support you. Do what you believe is right. Da, da, da. You decided. Careful. Don't spam any buttons because those two options, they're the true ending, but you'll also get like a sort of bad ending. What you want to do is press escape in order to get a true true ending. So it's too hard to decide. That's true. No matter what you choose, it will still bring pain. Listen, I've got an idea. Okay. Little guy, are you willing to abandon your humanity? Wait a minute, I know what you're gonna say. You want to just transfer this human, right? Doesn't the research say that the consciousness of, consciousness of transferred humans are weakened or even lost? How did you think I'll still, I still possess my consciousness? Though we haven't succeeded in curing humans, we've devised ways to cure other species. If the patient is not human, the disease can be cured easily. As long as you're willing to sacrifice, I can provide you with the drug I injected myself with. As a result of me and my colleagues research, it allows you to be transferred without alternating, or altering your brain structure. After that, the treatment will be easy. Once you finish your treatment, you'll be able to leave here with, with your sample friend. I can even let you some food and supplies. As long as you can comply. Please. I've wrecked my brain to think of, of one last solution. It's all I can do. Please consider carefully. Just a small sacrifice. What do you think, human? Do you trust him? I don't want to believe him. Maybe he's just stalling for time. You don't know anything about this treatment. What if he's trying to harm you? Moreover, human, do you really want to become become like us? I, I, I won't care how you look, but you'll be changed permanently. So, let's forget it. I'm sorry, mass man. We've decided... That, that, that. Da, da, da. Human, you agree? Really? You're willing? You nodded. <laughs> Human, have you found this out thoroughly? You may never get used to your new body and you won't even know the risks. This is a meth methods with no take backs. You'll be changed for life. Have you really decided? I didn't think that you would agree. That's great. 
Don't laugh now, I won't move an inch from the human. If you try and pull anything, I'm gonna... Never mind. Let's start as soon as possible. Since you've decided, we can now begin the treatment. However, you will probably be very bored sitting in bed for, for days with only a, an IV drip. Or pretty much, I think it's supposed to be like a 4 drip. Like the, the number 4. The field sample may come with me too. Sorry for attacking you earlier. I had no other choice. Can you not call me a, a felt sample? It's angering me. That's not important. Follow me. Let's go to my lab. Human, I'll keep an eye on him. Girl will absolutely protect you. Don't worry about it. I will... Uh... Why is that like an exclamation mark right after the I? I will follow right behind you. How long am I recording? Jesus, I think that's almost like a half hour, holy shit. Uh, you've decided to accept the treatment. This episode will also be only a... kind of like a um, talking act or talking moment, so pretty much nothing goes on in here. I'm sorry. You've decided to accept the treatment. You lie on a bed comfortably. This is the first chance you've had to get a decent rest in a long time. The needle misses your veins a couple of times. The doctor was out of practice. <laughs> Finally, the needle successfully injects one one of your blood vessels. That's just rude. The drug flows into your body drop by drop. Next, you only need to wait quietly. Bear is watching you peacefully, peacefully from the bedside. It's very quiet. The only sound uh, in the whole room are just the subtle drips from the drug. Sarah Burrow staring into his cloudy, cloudy pupils. He feels a little bit, a little bit shy, turning his head to the other side. Aww. Time is passing thick by thick. Sleepiness floods over your mind, you gradually fall asleep. You had a long, long dream. dream. In a dream, you're trying to escape the pursuit of a skull head figure in panic. You're so scared running everywhere you can think to hide. There's nobody, no one to help you, nowhere to run. You curl up hem helplessly on the ground, hoping not to be seen. But you are eventually discovered those huge bill bone claws seizes your sh shorts. <laughs> I've got about oh, I kind of forgot about this one, but like oh shit, <laughs> and pulled him off hard. <laughs> ah! I'm not making those sounds. <laughs> I'm not making those sounds. Fuck off with that. No. It's just a dream. How long has it been? Your body feels so heavy. Is it not a dream? The figure has chased you from your dream. Why is it so cute? Like... Puro? Puro! You went in such a sleepy head. You slept for days. You made me so worried. You smile, embarrassed. You tell the press under your butt. It's already feeling numb. Tail! Quit lying down. Get up and look at your new body. Yep. They went there. I won't count this as... I will not count this as a death. Because you are willing. The other moments they were unwilling, you were changed unwillingly so fluffy it's not uncomfortable yeah actually it's goddamn cute looking though 
His snout could just be pooped. It's different than you expected, but it feels alright. Human is so cute. Pearl witness you slowly transform. It, it's so wonderful. Have you ever gotten anything? Any real weird impulses? Not at all. You're awake. No allergies, no mutations. You're lucky! You're in a cold sweat. Now that you finished your treatment, everything's fine now. By the way, I, man I managed to find a host for your friend. We had a bio-robot that we originally planned to test viruses with. The bio-robot is almost the same as a regular human, but it was never alive. Therefore, your dark latex friend doesn't need a host anymore. I've done all I can. Now you too can leave from here. Yep, Pearl got like a, a a fake a fake host, pretty much. He actually just absorbed it and took control over it. I think pretty much he got a host, so now he actually has a longer lifespan. He can live longer. Congratulations! Your treatment was a success! Kewen? I'm so relieved. Re re really? You suddenly jump uh, up from the bed. Not used to your strong new legs, you immediately are catapulted to the floor. Ha ha ha! Eh. You just have that weak laugh. You're laughing too. <laughs> you and Pearl have left the building. The masked man who calls himself K remained, but promised to help you when in need. Yes, if you saw or if you remember from the previous episode of the diary, I think it was uh, was signed by K. The doctor is pretty much called Doctor K. You said your goodbyes, came to the hall, and opened the gate. Light fills your eyes. It's sunrise now. Flame red light burns on the horizon. Different from the harsh fluorescent lights that you're used to, it's sunshine. The rising, hot, the rising sun. You've seen the sunset before, and now... And you can now witness the sunrise. You and Pearl are standing on the real soil. You've really done it. Stepping lightly on the green grass, you and your new friend gradually start moving. The tower is slowly began being filed by other ruined buildings bit by bit. Now you can only see the tip of the tower. Everything feels so natural, full of life, and, you're, and safe. You no longer feel nervous, you grab your latex friend's paw firmly. Firmly. Neither of you talk, but you both have smile on your faces. You're just walking in the direction of the rising sun, walking on and on. Da -da -da. You've walked a long way. The shape of the tower becomes vague. You can't tell how long you've been walking. You can't see the tower anymore. Surrounding buildings are still broken, but determined plans uh, entwine the rebar growing wildly. You stop for a second. Burrow notices. You aren't used to your new body. These strong legs, legs can easily step too far. You've tripped many times on a road. You're feeling tired now. Human, are you tired? Don't push yourself. There's a rock over there, let's go and take a rest. Come on, lean on me. Human, we've succeeded. The world is so beautiful. I finally experienced it. I fulfilled my dream. It's all thanks to you, human. Human is so brilliant. 
Being rid of friends is such a happiness. I can't see any more rocks or rubble from here. Only see the roundness of the rising sun. It's bright. So bright. This feels completely, completely different from the feeling from the balcony of the tower. This time, I have my paws standing firmly on her earth. With a reliable friend. Human, you're also feeling happy, right? Yes. Not that, that. I'm so happy, Pearl. And that's changed. That was the last play of changed. I'm actually surprised that it went that fast. I also kind of did it on purpose to play changed because I knew it was a short game, so I could be like, you know what, I could maybe just make a let's play of it. So, yeah. But, yeah, that was actually pretty much changed. We're kind of not done here yet, though. If it loads. There we go. The credits! We have the White Knight, the Light Latex, and then the Mink Cat. Uh, special thanks, Sun Thunder Science, Game Tensor CZ, uh, YY, I think, or Blower Cat, Fang Yu, MXL. I actually want to say this the game itself, I. I really enjoyed the game. I actually became like a sort of fan of it because of how cute it is and... Oh, those were like... Oh no, I thought they were like the people that, or the characters that can change you, but... The game itself is pretty nice. It's... It's cute. It does have some annoying moments in the game, but after you know what to do, you'll get used to it. Program support, Kate Ming, and that's something I, I'm sorry. I'm really I'm sorry for the person who made this game, but I cannot read other language symbols. I really am sorry. I really enjoy the game, but just like I'm sorry. Still, thanks for making this game. Translators is Laura C W, Templar Fox, M X uh, L, Dextros. I think it's supposed to be dexterous. <laughs> uh, Yu Fang Cup, pretty much the the flying one, and the other one is what? Um, Bei Fang is probably supposed to be the dragon form, I think. Okay. Special donation! Cookie Z, Wayness 5. And CO High, High Hfit, Blood Wolf, etc. Um Wei CO Yuri's Cat uh, Thanks for refund. Thanks for the refund. And thanks for other micro donations. Also, anyone who made this game, I'm sorry if I said your name wrong. I I'm really I'm sorry, but like, still, thanks for making this such a great game. We have also the... Cake? Oh, I think that's supposed to be the... This one? I don't know. I really don't know. We have also that Cade, the circle. Light Latex Female, we also have the Crow, we also have CZ, pretty much the Background Master, or Background Master, Background Music, pretty much this guy over here. It's cute, it's cuddly, it's fluffy looking. Uh. Thank you all who support me. 
Click here to see uh, other donations and a lot and a lot of me. I don't know what that means. The order does not matter in sequence. Maybe less comparative, more than um, ten dollar funding, partially funded anonymous. Wanna see? Dreaming melodies, Kylan, Bill King, Anderson, uh, LLY, Camellia Surrett, Charles, Caffeine, uh, Caffeine, Ryan Harris. Anyone who actually made this game, I I'm still saying like thank you, and I would, I highly enjoy this game. H Fitz, uh, LXHY. Thank you. I'm, so, I'm really, I'm sorry if I really can't read those names, but still, thank you for, thank you all for making this game. Ewan, Snake, Snow Leopard, and <laughs> Gas. Just the face, Gas. Okay. What you can do here, as I forgot to mention, you can go over to these um, uh, characters. They'll transform you. Just to see what kind of transformation you'll get, and maybe you have missed some. Like, for instance, the main cat, the White Knight. I never showed what the White Knight does. I think I've showed the Light Latex once or twice. But, the White Knight was in the beginning of the first episode. So, here you can just pretty much see what kind of transformations you'll get. A game by Dragon Snow, development tool, RPG, RPG Maker uh, 15, pretty much VX, and music by CZ. Squid Dog and the Shark. Squid Dog really looks cute though. Dragon Snow, you've made a really good game. I actually am looking forward to the changed special version. Yes, I already kind of spoiled it, there is a changed special version. I don't know if I'll be going over the changed special version. Maybe I will, but that, it, the game is still in development. But if it comes out and it's fully coming out, I will also let's play about that. But things actually that are in the game um, that are really new. Maybe even I actually just go through the whole game, and even if the things we've already done in this game, like, I'll just go over them. Like, this game, I really enjoy it. And ZZ? I really hope more of these musics becomes just perfect. I really do. Like, not saying it's bad, but like I really I really enjoy the music. It even actually sticks to my mind. The end. Bound Column. Uh, White Severus. And we have also original role photo. I think it's pretty much showing you like what kind of photos you might have missed. Like right there. I've never seen that one. But like, you can see what kind of transformations other people have gone through, like Dark Decay, for example. Uh, I want to say something about this. These two people... I want to say one thing, those are the creators, I think. Let's see. Fang Yu? I don't know. Fang Yu? Atlas Knight, uh, developer, Dragon Snow. Other four wall photos. And we have the crystal walls here all as well. But. Here we have someone. Oh. Well, hi. Thanks for playing my game. I can't believe you've made it here. I'm the developer of the game, Dragon Snow. You've reached a true ending. You've just passed the list of games producers, the credits, and the audience. If you don't want to play anymore, you can cer certainly stop now. If you're gonna get a different ending, you will need to play again. Thank you for playing. You are unremanating. You've completed the game. True end? That's your fate. In the end, what you did leads you to the cho to choose what you believed in. 
know, you were on the honor end, it wasn't easy for you to reach here. You are unremediating. Unrem You've completed the game. Whether as a developer or as a human, those with such per perseverance must be excellent. This game is my first debut, so many parts aren't perfect. Difficulty, content, and plots are flawed, but I've tried my best. Thank you for your, thank you very much for your support and purchasing my game. Thank you, player. It's always been my wish to make a complete game. This game was achieved by my hard work. To finish and post it on Steam wasn't something I felt I could do. I really admire self. If possible, I hope to create better works in the future. Ah, uh, I'm sorry if it seems like I'm rambling. Who's the fox? This is my developer partner, the composer, Sizi. All the background music, music you've heard in the game was created by him. And he's a friend of mine too. Hey, wake up! Dot, dot, dot. He doesn't want to talk. Well, forget it. I poured my heart into this game, and there are also some excellent performances by CZ. This is his first time he composed for a game, I personally enjoyed him a lot. Well, it's quite a lot to say. Was it too worried? I'm going back to sleep. I want to save the game! Aha, okay. I'll allow you to save your game here. Thank you again for playing the game! Goodbye, player. They are sleeping now. Yes! Dragon Snow and ZZ. The game developer and the composer of the background musics. I wanna say one I just wanna say this. Dragon Snow and ZZ, thank you for this game. I really enjoyed it, and I was actually um, I am very happy that I've made a let's play about this. I hope the future uh, games you uh, make Dragon Snow are all gonna be great as ever. And for the composer, Zizi, keep on going. I really enjoyed it. But, with all that, it's coming to the end of Changed. I will go over towards the main menu. So just for the, the music, like, it's it's nice and all, but just like, I just, I just want to make sure the audience also can actually hear my voice. Yeah, that was actually pretty much changed. That was the full Let's Play of Changed. I'm actually surprised it went fast. But I, I wasn't actually expecting to be nearing the ending that quick, to be honest. That soon. About the Changed Special. If you guys really want to see me play the Changed Special version, I will do it. I will also start anew. And play through the game and even kind of have some moments where it actually is kind of a blind let's play. Because some of these parts I've never looked into and I've not yet reached to the point where Dragon Snow uh, will say, like, I haven't been uh, further with the game. Or, like, further with making of the game. But if you all really want to see it, leave it in the comments and I'll do it. I'm not kidding, I, I would really do it. But anyway, I'll be ending the episode right here. This was the Let's Play of Changed. Finally finished it. But uh, yeah, feel free to leave a like, leave a comment and subscribe if you want to. Also don't forget to share this to your friends as well. This was Neo Lucario, signing off. See ya.